Hello, my name is Richard Kent. Today I want to talk about Jesus and Barabbas and ask you a question. I want you to imagine uh, you were present when Jesus was on trial in front of Pontius Pilate. The year is 33 AD, it's Passover in Jerusalem and Pilate is present and also in front of him are two, in inverted commas, criminals. They're both in chains. One is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and the other one is called Barabbas. He's also in chains. Now, I want to tell you before anything else what the name Barabbas actually means. Bar means son of, Abba means father, indicating that Barabbas had a spiritual father. Now, who was the spiritual father of Barabbas? Well, um, Barabbas was a murderer. That's why he was actually going to be crucified. He was a murderer. Um, so he was called the son of the father. Now, in John chapter 8, Jesus actually looked straight at some priests and said, you are of your father, the devil. So Barabbas was the, the, the son of Satan. So here we have two characters, real characters, actually in history. One was called Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and one was called Barabbas, the son of Satan. And Pontius Pilate is looking to the crowd and saying, which one shall I release to you? And the crowd is shouting out, release Barabbas. And you know what happened is Barabbas was released. Now that is a picture of the Christian gospel. Because Barabbas was a murderer and should have been crucified, but he was set free and the Son of God, who did nothing wrong ever in his entire life, died in the place of Barabbas. That is a picture of the gospel. So the question is, if you were in the crowd, which would you choose? The Son of God or the Son of Satan? I will leave that to, uh, for you to answer. But I can tell you one thing, most people would actually choose Barabbas. Jesus said, wide is the road that leads to destruction and most people go that way. Narrow is the road that leads to eternal life, and few there be that find it. So only a few people will end up in heaven, and the wide road leads to hell. In order to accept Jesus, to uh, choose Jesus, you have got to leave behind you lots of things that Barabbas enjoyed doing. Barabbas probably swore a lot. He probably slept around with lots of women. He certainly killed people because he was a murderer. He was probably a thief as well. He probably broke all nine commandments. All of us have actually done all of those things. If we've looked at a woman in lust, we don't have to sleep with her. If we've looked at a woman in lust, we are an adulterer. If we've stolen a postage stamp, we are a thief. If we, are sworn, if we have sworn in our lives, we are a blasphemer. If we have been angry with our brother, according to the Sermon on the Mount, we are a murderer. <laughs> That's what each of us are, a murderer. So the question is, who would you choose? If you choose Barabbas, you can carry on living the same life as you have always lived, and carry on breaking all Ten Commandments most days. If you choose Jesus Christ, you will actually change from the kingdom of Satan to the kingdom of God, and Jesus Christ will have then uh, been crucified for you personally and will be your uh, personal saviour. As far as God the Father is concerned, you are seen to be clothed in righteousness and the blood of Jesus cleans you from all sin. So the question is, who do you choose? Do you choose Jesus or do you choose Barabbas? Would you like to go to heaven? If you would, choose Jesus. Simply ask the Father to forgive you for all the bad things you have ever done, 
stop doing them and forgive all the people who offended you, hurt you, lied about you, stolen from, forgive all of them and ask God to receive you into his kingdom because Jesus Christ died for you and the blood of Jesus cleans you from all sin. And then ask the Holy Spirit, ask God to send the Holy Spirit to come and live in you and he will and you will be a new creation, a new child of God. And if that, if that happens to you, please write to info at revelationtv.com. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you and God bless you.